How do you get the blood on stage, right? We talk about theater not being safe, theater not being, and we know the theater that works has blood on it. It has kind of chaos and excitement yeah. to it. How do you put that out there? How do you create it? Well, I think, you, you, first of all, you, you create it. If you're going to do the classics, which is what that theater was built for, you must not be in awe of them. You, you really must be quite arrogant in dealing with them. You must not um, hold them in esteem above your head. You must say, no, I'm, I'm going to show, show them that this is how it should be done. And maybe he was such a great writer after all, Shakespeare. No, you have to be absolutely ruthless in your confidence about how to deal with the great roles. Otherwise, they'll deal with you. You mean how you play them as an actor or how a yes. director? Well, both. Both as a director and both as... Tony had, had, was not in awe of Shakespeare. Well, directors and actors both uh, have not to hold the author in awe. They must think that for a second they're better. I mean, it's very delusionary. But this is what the theater is all about. It is an illusion and a delusion, both. So that, that, that is what um, makes you a rebel. And uh, the rebellious nature is, is very important. You suppose that Edmund Keen ever thought, went home and said, oh my god, those words are just so extraordinary. I don't know if I'd be able to say them or not. Edmund Keane kicked Shakespeare in the balls when he went on stage. And that's how everybody who wants to be a terrific classical actor has to think. That's the way they have to think. It's but if you're going to kick the words in the, in the no, balls... No, no, not the words. The kick the idea of, of the formidable creature that you are portraying get to you. You must not let that happen. And by not letting it happen, you have to be ruthless. You have to be able to frighten the audience. You have to, to play against what speeches mean so that they'll reach modern audiences. And you, have, you have to be, as long as you have to be so colorful, just as colorful, if not more so than the, than the writing itself of, of Shakespeare. Let's take Shakespeare as an example, who has provided such a symphony of music for you to perform that uh, and you must be able to technically uh, and emotionally, uh, be ruthless with it. Am I making any sense? Absolutely.